this is Malin from Malin Budgets. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's time. We're starting the Halloween binder. I only put a couple of savings challenges in it because I want to do as many as we can and um, fall and Halloween will last until I say so because I don't like winter that much. I like all of the other uh, seasons. Okay, so before we begin, um, yeah, it's getting crowded in here. We have a little tray with a ghosty and a pumpkin, but you're getting the reflection from my window. And I'm sorry for that, but we cannot change that. And then I went to the perfume shop to my friend who looked over my kitties. And she, of course, had the pumpkin spice um, flavors of wax melts. And I had to get them just to look how cute they are. This one is shaped like a pumpkin. This one is a gift. This one is a tiny crown, perfect for Lady Di, and they smell amazing. And I'm currently melting one, so uh, I won't put one here as decor. We need money, right? And I'm keeping it in my beautiful Nightmare Before Christmas pouch. Yes, I collect pouches as well, just like Lizzie. So, for today we have... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. And 10, 20, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. I'm on the struggle bus here. Yeah, so as soon as I came back from my vacation from Greece, I uh, watched Donnie Darko because it was October 2nd and it's basically the moment that the movie starts uh, when Frank visits him and it's, it's so much fun. It's one of my traditions to watch Donnie Darko as soon as October starts and then Nightmare Before Christmas, of course. So let's see what challenges I added in here. First we have the October Savings Challenge. Uh, this one is from Daniel Craft Studio. I don't know, let's add a 20 for this angry pumpkin right here. I allocated a 250 for today because we need to catch up. Um, it's October 10th and I haven't started my Halloween binder and I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I had so much going on at work and with the fall savings challenges that I actually didn't do it last week. So, um, this cute one is from the Savvy Coin. I did this challenge last year as well, if you've been here long enough. So let's see, uh, let's do this witch's hat for a 10. I love how orange and um, purple go together, so... Uh, this is why I decided to use this binder with these envelopes and with this decor. Okay, these next challenges are so, so cute. Uh, this one only saves 30. We have a 61 and a blank one for rolling the dice. Uh, this is from a shop in Finland. Um, her actual name is Seni, but uh, this um, shop name is pronounced Tutitulia, something like that. And this one only saves $30. Uh, Lizzie, if you need more uh, small savings challenges for your extreme uh, series, uh, please let me know. I think her shop is on uh, kind of a vacation right now. So let's just add a four for the highest one here. What color should the ghost be? I'll just do it pink. I don't know. Okay, so four going in to the first mini challenge. Then we have another one from her. This one is a Day of the Dead set. I need to show you this. So it's a set of three and it has the cute little Frenchie. It has this doggy here. It has the owl. And then we have another uh, set with the cat. So I'm doing this one with the dog at first. 
and I actually have this as a pin yeah random find I I was not prepared but um, I wanted to show you that so let's do a four in here as well so one two three and four I only colored the makeup around the eyes on the calavera so we'll put the money here Then we have another savings challenge from Daniel Craft Studios. Um, this one is a mini Dia de los Muertos. For this one, let's see. Um, let's do the 15 in the middle. So 5, 10, and 15. Now we're moving to uh, landscape to my favorite mode uh, because my left hand sucks we have another one uh, of the beautiful savings challenges that uh, Tiffany budgets or Tiffany's printables on Etsy has created this one is the hello October of course we're doing it in here and we're rolling the dice uh, do you see any changes here yes we have the black die because um, I will not be using Lizzie's hedgehog dice uh, for these challenges. I don't want to be double cursed, so let's go. A five, of course. So let's put a five in and we'll come back. This savings challenge, uh, you know I did a full one, a similar one in my other binder. This one was from a fun savings challenge on Etsy. So let's leave the instructions here and see what we roll. A six, of course, but now it doesn't matter. So this is the start. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We have a one. Five. One, two, three, four, and five. Another one. Let's try and go around the board. One and two. So that's three. And we're putting this back and taking a five. We haven't hit any uh, characters so far. One is another five. So let's get a ten. Two. One, two. Another two, one, two. Uh, this little bear says, you got scared. Relax a little and save 10 to move forward. Well, um, this one goes bye-bye. And yeah, we're saving uh, 22 in our first try. So yeah, that one was quite beefy. But of course I draw that. Uh, it's me, I'm not, li I'm not Lizzie. So let's put this inside the envelope. Then we have uh, more beautiful savings challenges from uh, Jenny over at Simply Living Saves. We will start off with uh, this one with the pumpkin and the, um, all the candy inside. So let's do... No, let's see what the dice tells me to save. Four. One, two, three, four. So number five. Let's go again. Three. One, two, three. So that will be eight. Let's stop at eight for now. One, two, and three. We have other challenges from her. Uh, this one is a Frankenstein like bucket head. I love this so much. Then we have this beautiful savings challenge that Elian Earth sent me. Uh, you can find this on her Etsy shop. Uh, it's called Let's Creep It Real. It's all my favorite symbols. Uh, it has, I don't know, potions, tarot, the witch's cauldron, uh, the crystal ball, all the witchy stuff. So we'll, we'll roll the die again. 
a three. Three for the palm reader. And let's go again because I don't have many ones. A six. And one more time, a one. So that's a perfect 10. I love this one so much. Thank you, Ellie, for sending it to me. I'll buy it from the Etsy shop afterwards because I also have the, um, the 70s inspired savings challenges from her and they're just perfect. Now this sticker um, is still for one of Ellie's uh, savings challenges. She sent me this beautiful scratch off with like the moths and the moon and the skeleton. You would think I would have more skeleton stickers, but I don't. I don't know why. So let's see which one we scratch. The fourth one. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, so this one is only a five. Uh, let's do one more. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The last one. Okay, so twelve dollars going in. I love this one, it's so beautiful. And we literally finished this moon. Let's put this at the back and stop ruining and giving spoilers of the other savings challenges. Okay, next up. Um, I didn't actually stick the stickers on here. I have like 12 of them now, but I love these ones so much. I love Jack Skellington with the puppy eyes. Yes, it's Nightmare Before Christmas. I love Sally. If you were here last year, uh, you know I have a tiny Disney figurine with Jack. So we are doing Janelle Ray Budget's uh, Nightmare Before Christmas scratch-offs. This one is the one with Jack, Sally, and Zero. So let's see which one we're doing, the sixth one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's do the one in the middle. Okay, so we got a nine. Let's do it again. The fourth one, one, two, three, and four. We got a two this time, and one more time, three. So one, two, and three. Okay, so we have a two again, uh, that's 9, 11, 13, so let's get 5, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Trying not to disturb the stickers. And then finally we have Bougie from Liz and Les. Um, I mean, you have to pronounce it Bougie. So the story around this uh, sticker challenge um, is in a desperate attempt to maintain their bougie reputation on a budget. These ghostly cheapskates haunt the local cafe demanding spirited discounts on their spectral coffee. They may be penny-pinching phantoms, but they'll still haunt you with their demands for a hauntingly good deal on their lattes. Okay, so Tracy has been inventing all kinds of crazy stories about these ghosties and I love it so much. I uh, am trying to find names for them, at least. So... I think this one is Sarah, but if you look at her closely, uh, can you not unsee it, the fact that she has like a shoulder-length haircut? <laughs> I think these are supposed to be her hands, but I cannot uh, unsee this. So we'll put Sarah here for 10. She's just coming in, waiting for someone to bring her her latte. Um, yes, she's kind of floating from the floor because uh, they're ghosts. Then we'll put the friendly bartender. Just hanging from the ceiling here. He's greeting everyone. He's checking to see uh, who comes through the door that way. So we did 16 so far.
and we'll do this trickster uh, ghosty right here uh, coming from the side so that's a total of 10 17 23 yeah 23 so 10 20 I don't have change 23 okay so 23 and 3 is 26 and we have money for that and we'll put this tiny cup of coffee here getting made in on the espresso machine so uh, that's what I decided so 25 26 All of this goes into Liz's envelope here. And then let's see, we still have quite a bit of money here. So let's do another 20 on Danielle's. 10, 15, 20. Let's do another 20 on the Savvy Coin one. So 5, 10, 15, 20. Fifteen twenty on the Dia de los Muertos one. This reminds me of the movie Coco. Um, let me know if you watched it, uh, and let me know if you're uh, a fan of Halloween movies and what kind do you watch, like. Um, the slasher horror ones, the cult ones from the 80s, if you like paranormal ones, if you like, um, I don't know, the funny ones, or just psychological, let me know in the comments. Let's see. I think 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 40. We can do 40 here on uh, Jenny's challenge and we will end up with this one and 41 actually okay this is the rest of our money it's all going in to Jenny's savings challenge please let me know if you liked uh, the selection of challenges that I picked for my uh, Halloween binder. I have many more waiting, but we will see if we have time to do it this month. I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope work and school doesn't stress you out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.